hello and welcome to this tutorial which is a basic or beginner's look at moving layers now this is being done in affinity photo but you could best pretty much um, use this in affinity designer and even in the affinity publisher beta uh, programs because they all work along the same basic principles um, but I'm going to stick with photo because this is what I use most of the time so I'm more comfortable with it. Now I have opened up this document and I've got three layers here and I've just numbered them one, two and three. I've got absolutely nothing on any of them mainly because I'm going to zoom in to this area here and not worry about what's happening here so I don't need to see this just so that you can see there's difference between one, two and three. Now, when you move a layer up or down, it will obviously affect what happens in this part here, but I'm not worried about that at the moment. But when you move a layer, you can click on the icon and then just hold down the button and drag it up or down, depending on where you want to move things to. Now, as you move it, you'll get a, a blue line that will come across the screen and it will either come all the way across, which will mean that that layer has just moved um, either up or down below or above the layer that you have moved it to. So it's still a layer in its own right and will have an effect on the image obviously but it will still be a layer in its own right now if the blue line only comes as far as the right hand edge of the icon that you're moving it down or up into it will sort of become a child of the layer that you move it into so they will sort of be working together in unison and so that they will be sort of joined and they will react similarly together. Like if you move them or resize them, they will all sort of stay together. Now if you bring this icon down and you get a very small vertical blue line that goes down the right hand edge of the layer, uh, the icon, you're sort of masking that layer onto the other layer. So let me just do a quick demonstration of this. Like I said, I, there's, nothing, there's nothing to worry about what's happening over here. So I'm going to zoom into this area here and I will click on the number three icon and drag it down. So that blue line now goes all the way across. So that number three layer is now in between one and two, but they are all still separate layers. Now, if I bring the number two layer, so I'll click and highlight on that, click on the icon, drag it down, and just bring it down so that that blue line only comes to the edge of the icon and let go. That number two layer is now grouped within the number three layer and will have you know various effects that you may be looking for but they are now working together as a sort of single group so let me just click and drag this out so that is now back as three separate layers so again i'll click and drag on this icon and this bit is a little bit tricky to do but you sort of come over to the edge of the icon for the say number two layer and you get that little blue vertical line and that is now masked it looks very similar to when you make a child but it is actually masking that particular layer rather than being a child of that particular layer. Let me just click and drag that back to the top. So if I zoom out again now and I come to this image here, 
we should now see how those effects and changes will happen on an actual visual representation. So assuming this would be like similar to the one, two and three that we had earlier. So I've now got the black background, the white square and the red cross. So what I'm going to do is I'll just click and move the red cross down so I get that blue line going all the way across. So now the white square is the top layer so the red cross is being hidden by it. If I put this back to the top to where it was so that is that movement. So now I'm going to make it a child of the white square so I'll come down to we got that blue line coming sort of up to the edge of the icon here so this red cross is now a child of the white square so it is only visible up to the edges of the white square you can't see anything in the black areas so again if I move this back to the top to where it was now if I make this a mask and not a child of the white square and bring this down so you get that little blue vertical line like that what that red cross is doing is sort of masking or protecting that area of the white square so anything that was outside of the red cross is not protected so it becomes black because you can see the black background through it so that's the difference between masking a layer and making a child of a layer we just drag this back up to the top again so that is basically how you can do this with the mouse you can do some of this with you can do it from the arrange menu you could come down to um, move back one layer or you can use control and square bracket or move to the back so you've got control shift and the square bracket similarly if I highlight the the bottom layer you can do move to the front and move forward one you do also have these icons up here which this is move to the back and move back one so if I click on this it will move that red cross down and now you have all of these available because I could move this down back one or to the back or I can move it forward one or move it to the front but if I highlight the bottom layer the only options you have are the move forward ones because it obviously you can't go back any further because it is the bottom layer so it's probably easier to use these buttons or you can right click and I believe you can you can't do the move backwards and forwards you have to do it from the arrange layer but what you can do from this layer when you right click it is to mask to below so you could click on that and mask it to the layer so it's very similar to getting the blue line the, bl the vertical blue line rather than making a child I've yet to find a shortcut to get a layer to become make it a child of another layer you can mask it to it or you can move it by shortcuts but to make a child of it as far as I know you physically have to move it down and make a child of it that way so I hope this visit visually explains how moving the layers will af affect the image and how to find the difference between a separate layer a child layer or a mask layer so hopefully this has helped thank you for watching and goodbye